Hello everyone and good evening. Welcome to On the Couch. I'm Tom Sampe. Alongside me today is my lovely co-host, Morgan Litsis. Are you in the holiday spirit? Student government is here to talk to us about their holiday week. Joining with us from SGA is Assistant Vice President of the University of Advancement Committee, Abby Erkshek, and Vice Chair of the Committee, Tiffany Gonzalez. Ladies, welcome to On the Couch today. So, Again, I'm very excited about Holiday Week just here, and I'm ready for the holidays. Can you explain to us what Holiday Week is? Okay, so Holiday Week was started last year by the last AV, um, SGA AVP of University Advancement. Um, we want to continue it as a tradition. So this is the second annual Holiday Week for Brown University. Each day, starting November 30th to December 5th, there's going to be something different to celebrate a holiday. November 30th is our tree lighting ceremony. And then each day consecutively afterward will be another holiday celebrated to raise awareness and just make everyone on campus feel at home. Great, so um, you said on November 30th is the tree lighting. Where is that going to be and what are the details that go with that? The Unity Tree Lighting Ceremony will be at Bunts Quad at 7 p.m. Um, on November 30th. At this event, which I'm super excited for, <laughs> um, we're also going to have an ugly sweater competition hosted by OWSS and there might be a $100 gift card in the mix if you win the Ugly Sweater Contest. Uh, immediately following afterward will be the Christmas celebration hosted by two of our clubs here on campus. That will be in Student Center Room 129 from when the tree lighting ends to about 9 o'clock. Okay, you mentioned the ugly sweater competition. Exactly when and where could I enter? Because I have a beautiful ugly sweater <laughs> and I'm very, very excited for this. <laughs> So there will be a sign-up table at the tree lighting ceremony. We'll be having um, Christ uh, music being done there by a DJ, as well as Gourmet Dining is bringing in um, hot chocolate, and we're getting donuts donated. OWSS will have a table at the tree lighting with a sign-in sheet, so that way you can sign in, and then you post an Instagram picture of you and your sweater at tree lighting, and they will go through all the Instagram photos. But you have to be there, and you have to sign up in order to be considered for it. Okay, so you mentioned how you're not only doing things for Christmas, but other holidays. What are some of the other holiday things you're doing? So Tuesday is one of my favorite days. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask Tiffany. Yeah. Um, Tuesday is going to be our international holiday karaoke night. Um, so we're getting some of the multicultural clubs involved. And in the Student Center pit, we're going to have a laptop so that way we can have <coughs> people just come up on stage and show us different ways of how they celebrate the holidays because there are numerous other holidays celebrated around the same time as Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa um, that aren't necessarily shed light on a lot. Um, do you want the rest of the week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do Wednesday? Um, Wednesday's our Hanukkah celebration. So uh, one, a couple, I think there's two clubs on campus that might partake in it and it'll be in the student center room one, 27 mm -hmm. okay and that's gonna be like run through those two clubs whether or not like I, I'm not aware of what we're gonna do but they're like planning it and I'm excited for it also on Wednesday we will have a mm. free hot chocolate table downstairs um, it's a vendor table in the Student Center we will also be selling baked goods that day and all funds will be going to Robin's Nest which is a toy drive that we're doing currently and then we're trying to promote like getting everyone in the Christmas spirit by holding the door open for people because I know that's a that's not nice when the door gets closed on you but we're trying to just promote like the holiday spirit and get everyone ready so it's not so gloomy because of finals. So. <laughs> Thursday is our big service event day so from 11 to 3 in the Student Center room 129 we will have two service events going on. One is Holiday Mail for Heroes where a student can come in and they can write a mail to a soldier that they know or either generally or someone personal and I've already contacted ROTC and I'm working with them so that way we can mail out all these letters uh, at the end of the week. We also are having wrapped boxes done in that room so that way toys can also be dropped off for Robin's Nest. It's just, just another drop up point for our huge toy drive that we're doing. Now you mentioned how this is the second year of it. How do you foresee how it's going to maybe expand and maybe grow this year? I've taken it a tiny bit of a different direction. We're trying to keep it traditional while keeping the same things that the Kwanzaa celebration is also on Thursday. Um, but I've added in the international night and I've tried to come up with different things that we could do throughout the week. Um, the exclamation point kind of to the week is on Saturday. This is the shooting for Santa doubleheader basketball game that's happening. Um, the women's basketball game is at 1 p.m. The men's basketball game is at 3 p.m. Um, but your admissions ticket to get into the basketball game 
If you bring a toy for the Robin's Nest Toy Drive, you do not pay an admissions fee at all. Now, students, you get in with your ID, but we'd really like <laughs> it if you would at least bring in a toy because it would mean a lot to us. Um, Friday is going to be not just a, a general day. Ra's doing burrow and lights, and we're kind of helping them just say, hey, like you should go to this. So that's we're pushing for the Ra event on Friday. Okay, you said you were giving out service letters for the clubs. How would a club go about getting a service letter? To, to get a service letter, you need to have 50% of your club at an event. And you need, we're going to have a sign in. So if you're going to be at the tree lighting ceremony, you need to show us that, hey, 50% of my club is here. We're going to be creating a sign in for that that's going to be centrally located at the tree lighting ceremony, as well as the Christmas celebration, the Hanukkah celebration, and the Kwanzaa celebration. As for getting a service letter for some of our other opportunities, um, you same kind of rules apply for the holiday mail for heroes as well as robin's nest you need to half of your organization needs to donate or participate as for the bake sale uh, you can donate baked goods to our bake sale but you do need to come talk to us first to make sure i know what baked mm -hmm. goods are coming in and that they're properly prepared and then if you do participate in the bake sale um, it'll be your donation for a service letter so you mentioned individual celebrations like Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. What do you do specifically for each of those holidays during those celebrations? Like, do you play Christmas music and all that kind of stuff? During the week, um, we do have Christmas uh, holiday music playing in the cafeteria or in the marketplace. I'm um, also working closely with Gourmet Dining to get some things rolling. They're going to have, on Tuesday, a gingerbread house kit contest. So the houses will already be made. It'll be de a decorating contest um, that'll be happening from 11 to 2. Um, they're also going to have on Thursday a international meal day. So 11 to 2 also in the marketplace there's going to be traditional holiday meals at all the different stations. Um, as far as for each individual celebration during the day we leave that up to the clubs. We have s over 134 clubs mm -hmm. on campus that they get involved in so many different ways. So as much as to make this not only our project but Rowan's project for the students, we provide the rooms on the day, and then they provide us with the events. So the, I have two clubs currently running the Christmas event, the Christmas celebration on Monday. They're starting to get things to me about that. So I leave, I, uh, we give them the room, they supply the event, and then they give us what they need. Okay, thank you for coming to On the Couch today. Remember, <laughs> holiday week starts November 30th. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget it and don't go anywhere because there's more on the couch coming up.